Okay guys, welcome back. Dekat sini saya today I'm going to talk about uh, a topic. We are still dekat topic redox. Kita dekat topic redox. Kita akan discuss subtopic hari ini adalah oxidation number. Oxidation number. Nombor pengoksidaan eh. Number. Nombor Pengoksidaan Guys, saya akan buat benda, uh, video ni dalam dua bahasa I'm going to teach in uh, this uh, in this video on this topic in a bilingual So, it shouldn't be a problem for those are taking in Malay or either in English So, guys, first of all, you should know Yang kena-kena tahu How to calculate the oxidation number. Remember, oxidation number is very synonym. Ada uh, sangat familiar dengan topik yang kita belajar sebelum ni, iaitu uh, untuk transition elements. Okay, transition elements. Salah satu atau unsur peralihan ya, unsur peralihan. Apa apa salah satu ciri istimewa unsur peralihan adalah ia mempunyai nombor pengoksidaan yang berbeza. One of the characteristic of the transition element it have a different oxidation number. Example, eh, kita ambil contoh yang paling mudah kita ada Fe2+. But in the same time, ini adalah transition element. Fe also have a in 3 plus. So, do you notice or not? Unsur yang sama tetapi mempunyai charge yang berbeza. It's the same element with a different charge. This is what we refer as a oxidation number. This is what we refer as a oxidation number. So, please uh, guys, do not confuse. I can give you more example such as Cu2 plus. And Cu also is a transition element. Dia adalah unsur peralihan. Dia juga ada Cu plus. It's the same element but different charges. This is what we call as a transition element. Unsur yang sama dan mempunyai nombor charge yang berbeza. Itu yang kita panggil sebagai nombor pengoksidaan. Kebiasaannya guys. <coughs> okay, I'm going to teach you. You can have a look. Okay, oh for those who do not know who am I, my name is Hussein Haniba. Okay, um, you can Dr. Hussein, yeah, Dr. Hussein bin Haniba. Dr. Hussein, so you are looking at most probably in my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is my name. You can search Haniba. Okay, Hussein Haniba is my YouTube channel name. And also if you wish to communicate with me in further, you can follow my Instagram which is the DR Hussein underscore chemistry so chemistry this those in the information so without further ado kita sambung lagi kita sambung lagi we are still on the topic of the uh, trend uh, this one eh? oxidation number i will teach you how to calculate the oxidation number now eh? so i erase this part let's say guys the exam is given a, 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 a formula kmn04 katakan eh? kamu diberi kmn04 then they ask you to calculate the oxidation number for manganese in this case ya yeah? untuk mengira oxidation number untuk manganese senang je guys remember unsur ni KMnO4 the given over here do you notice or not it is a neutral new it is a neutral it is neutral why i'm say it is neutral dekat sini dia mempunyai charge kosong dia tak ada charge positif dia tak ada charge negatif maka ini dipanggil sebagai satu neutral molecule neutral molecule if it is neutral molecule and they ask us to calculate the oxidation number untuk mn kita nak kira nombor pengoksida untuk mn senang je do it step by step. You are the 1K, you have 1K, and you have 1NM manganese, and you have 4 oxygen, 4 oxygen. And guys, please remember the sum of all of this. Hasil tambah ini semua, dia adalah sama dengan kosong yang ada kat sini. Kosong yang ada kat sini. Therefore, this is equivalent to zero. 
Now, you are going to calculate the oxidation number for Nm. How to calculate the oxidation number of Nm? Okay, first of all, K. Apakah dia punya charges? Charges untuk kalium. Kalium charges dia, in a, uh, you know, is positive 1. N plus Mn, the oxidation number, you do not know. Remember guys, untuk kita penumbuh pengoksidan ini, kita akan guna charge untuk setiap unsur ini. Charge dia. Dan, dan untuk yang ini pula, uh, this one, we have uh, four negative two. Ini adalah charge untuk oksigen. Then, you got it. Positive one plus mn. And you have negative eight and zero. And you solve this. And you bring to the other side. And M N you have a, just a simple mathematic. Selesaikan secara matematik. You dapat positive 7. Therefore, this M N, M N ini mempunyai nombor pengoksidaan positive 7. That's why guys, if you look carefully, the name of a K M N O 4, also kita akan selalu panggil, Potassium permanganat 7. 7. Potassium permanganat 7. The potassium permanganate 7. Potassium manganate 7. The 7 here is referred refer to the oxidation number. It is refers to the oxidation number. So guys, I hope you understand. So let's proceed to the next example. <coughs> let's say you have a given K2Cr2O7 and again it is a neutral it is a neutral atom dia adalah satu atom yang neutral du dia ada dua K tambah dengan dua chromium two chromium and you have a seven oxygen guys remember this is equivalent to zero and remember do it step by step this is a positive one plus 2 chromium and plus with 7 negative 2 equals to 0. Solve this mathematically. 2 chromium, 2 chromium, <coughs> negative 2 plus equals to 0. Bring this to the other side and 2 chromium equivalent to positive 12. And finally, Cr is divided by 2 and the chromium is positive 6. This is the oxidation number for chromium in this case. <coughs> Remember guys, okay, I hope you understand. If you, okay, if you have any question regarding on this uh, video, you can put it the question on the comment sections. I will try to my very best to reply as soon as possible. Kalau ada soalan, letak juga uh, section comment tu, saya so akan reply ya. Eh. Guys, sekarang ni, sekarang ni, ramai di antara kamu, maybe have a, a mindset, oh, charge lah oxidation number. No. Charge is not always oxidation number. Dengar sini betul-betul eh. Charge semestinya, tak semestinya, tak semestinya adalah nombor pengoksidaan. Bagi Saya bagi satu contoh untuk buktikan benda ni eh. I give you a proof. Let's say I have a H2O and I have a H2O2 and I do have a F2O. Kalau tengok sini betul-betul guys, in tiga-tiga situation ni, on three situation, I have a water, o uh, uh, oxygen, sorry. I have water, hydrogen peroxide, and F2O, fluoroxide. Let's calculate <coughs> the oxidation number for three of it. Remember, guys, what is the charge of oxygen? As we know, the charge of oxygen is O2 minus. It's O2 minus. Tapi, is the charge equivalent to oxidation number? Not really. As you can see, all the elements that are given over here is a neutral. Therefore, it is must equivalent to zero. Then you have 2H plus with the O and give you zero. We do it. 2 plus 1, E plus, you are calculating the oxidation number of oxygen. Therefore, 
you bring this to the other side is negative 2. Okay, guys, don't so excited. You might thought, oh, actually, oxidation number lah, charge. Ta. Oxidation number dengan ini, oxygen ini, charge dia, dia sama secara kebetulan. This oxidation number and the charge is same. It is just due to a coincidence. It is just a coincidence. They, they are same. Let's look the second example. You have a two hydrogen and you have a two oxygen and equivalent to zero because it's a neutral atom. Two plus one plus two zero and equivalent to zero two. Uh, this is a positive two. Of course, then 2 you bring to the other side, the other hand, and negative 2 and O is equal to negative 2 by 2, they fall. Look at here, guys. The oxidation number for oxygen now is 1. Sorry, negative 1. It is negative 1. I make a mistake. It is negative 1. Look at here. Even though it's the same element, even though it is the same element, but it has a different oxidation number. Let's look the last one. Let's look the last one. Which you have the fluorine over here. You are the dual fluorine. And you are the satu oxygen. Sama dengan kosong. Okay, you know uh, fluorine is negative 1. And oxygen, like this, zero. Bring to the other hand, oxygen, you get positive two. Look at here. I'm still talking about the same element. Dia adalah unsur yang sama. Unsur yang sama. Tetapi, nombor pengoksidaan yang berbeza. Maka, ini membuktikan. Ini membuktikan bahawa charge not necessary is not oxidation number. Kalau charge dengan nombor pengoksidaan dia sama, dia adalah satu kebetulan. Dia hanyalah satu kebetulan. So, remember guys again, oxidation number is not a charge. So, please stay tuned. Please stay tuned on more video on the oxidation number. Guys, we just have cover the neutral atom. We just have cover about the neutral molecule. Neutral molecules. Eh? After this, I might give you some example of a polyion or polycation example to calculate the oxidation number. Please stay tuned and thank you so much for support my YouTube.